Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. No, it's not a racing video, we fabricate. All right, what we're doing today, this is the Ingersoll Rand big air compressor. And uh, this is the back half that goes over the tail end where the radiator's at. And it's so hard to get in there to blow your radiator out. They use this for blowing out the cotton pickers, combines, and all that stuff to blow them off every day. And of course, this sucks up the dust. And so we're making the hatch doors on the back here to make it easy for them to blow the radiator out on this air compressor. What we're doing first is we marked out the opening that we was going to cut and you cut it where your hinges go like he's doing now here and that way your door stays lined up once you put it back got some top nuts here with a big nut welded on it let me get it out and I'll show you That's just spot it on so that way he can open it to blow it out when and don't need any tools. Here's what I was talking about a top nut, uh, insert nut, I call it different things. Works just like a top nut, hot rivet. This right here collapses and gives you your thread. Put it on your gun, just like that. Install it in the hole. Close your handles and it cranks up. I'll show you that in a few minutes. The bolt onto the nut. See how it's got the little curls on it for it to bite. There you go. So just press that down over the bolt. It's shooting some weld in there and that's plenty of big. You can tighten it with your finger, we're hoping. And yeah, I know a couple of you might be wondering if the plasma cutter wouldn't be faster, and I, we think it would, but we don't think we can use it free-handed good enough yet to cut straight enough lines for this here. So, but we're still practicing and learning and and trying to figure that plasma cutter out. It does a great job, but we just don't think we can freehand it that good yet. Okay, y'all just saw us drill the hole. There's the little pop nut thing I was telling you about. All right, go ahead. He's gonna stick it in the hole, hold it flush, and then crimp his handle just like that. Then you back your threaded part out, and you got a threaded insert ready to go. Right, here you go, so you, so you just screw your insert on. Brings this gun over here, inserts it, and it shortens that piece up, cramps it, back it out. That's how we plan on doing the race car body this upcoming winter, if we can. Put it up there and screw it in. Hold your access door closed. Alright, here's the finished product. Paint don't match perfect, but it's as close as we could get it. Don't think it looks bad. Now they can just turn these two nuts on each door by hand and open it up to blow it out to service it to keep it running up top knots, but Appreciate y'all watching and supporting us here at Gerald Farms. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell where you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, whether it's fabricating, farming, cows, hay, or dirt track racing. Have a good one.